Welcome to Highway Herald, your roadmap to the latest in auto. Let's dive into the recent sales figures. As we've seen in the first quarter, many automakers are grappling with sales, except for a few Japanese giants who are currently leading the pack. Toyota, Honda, Subaru, and Mazda have been posting impressive sales records recently. Interestingly, they all share a common trait, a measured approach to electrification. These four automakers, who have taken a slower pace towards EVs, are experiencing remarkable market growth. If this comes as a surprise, here are five reasons that shed light on the situation. Reason number five, the benefits of a cautious approach to EVs. In recent years, the automotive industry has been aggressively pursuing electrification. The transition to what some call green energy, a term we could debate all day, was expected to happen in record time. However, this hasn't been the case, and now, those who took a more passive stance on EVs are reaping the rewards. Take Mazda, for instance. This Hiroshima-based automaker has always had a different perspective on the direction the automotive industry has taken over the past decade. Unlike many others, Mazda didn't jump on the downsizing bandwagon, keeping their engines naturally aspirated and reasonably sized. They introduced the Skyactiv-X engine to cut emissions and fuel consumption, all in an effort to avoid full-throttle electrification. They did launch one EV, the compact crossover MX-30, but that's a tale for another day. Meanwhile, they developed a few hybrid powertrains and surprisingly, poured millions into developing new gasoline and diesel engines, like the new inline-six units. This might have seemed irrational at the time, but hindsight shows it was a masterstroke. Mazda now boasts one of the most appealing lineups in the mainstream segment, and the sales figures back it up. The compact CX-30 has seen a nearly 30% sales increase last month, contributing to Mazda's best-ever monthly sales of 7,650 units. The CX-50 followed suit, while the new CX-90 stole the show with a staggering monthly growth of 337%. It's heartening to see such a relatively small automaker thrive with its unique vision of the automotive future. Reason number four, the rise of hybrids. Just as the EV market began to show signs of slowing down, hybrids started to gain momentum. While EVs currently hold a 7.2% market share, hybrids have surpassed them with over 9%. The reasons are clear, hybrids are more affordable, significantly more reliable, and easier to live with. Given these factors, it's easy to see which company is reaping the most benefits. Yes, we're talking about Toyota. The world's largest car maker has been posting double-digit growth for several months, and last month was no exception. The Toyota brand saw a 15% increase, while Lexus rose by just under 5%. What's even more intriguing is the continued growth of hybrid sales. Last month, they grew 14%, with a total of 77,000 electrified models sold. Specific models like the aging RAV4, due for a full redesign, saw a 29% increase, while the Corolla rose by 34%. Hybrids currently make up about 36% of the company's lineup, but this is set to change dramatically next year when the two best sellers undergo a full redesign. We're talking about the new Camry and RAV4, which will be sold exclusively as electrified variants. Considering their sales figures, which reach nearly 80,000 and 125,000 on a quarterly basis respectively, it's clear that hybrids may account for 50% of Toyota's total US sales next year. These figures will also significantly impact the overall market share of hybrids. Before we delve deeper, we'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to Highway Herald. Your support fuels our passion to create more content like this. Now, let's explore reason number three, the appeal of affordable cars. One of the primary factors contributing to the decline of electric cars is their lack of affordability. Despite impressive growth in the early adoption phase, the EV market has plateaued. The reality is simple, EVs are still pricier than their gasoline-powered counterparts. And given the current state of technology, they don't make for a practical purchase. They cost more upfront, often have higher running costs, and are generally less reliable than gasoline-powered vehicles. This explains why companies like Subaru are thriving. The company saw a nearly 10% rise, with models like the iconic Forester experiencing an 85% increase last month. Furthermore, Subaru recently announced its 21st consecutive month of year-over-year -year growth, selling over 55,000 vehicles last month. Subaru's success can be attributed to its unique features like boxer engines and all-wheel drive, but also its affordability. In an era of rapid inflation, Subaru remains one of the most affordable brands in the United States, even outpacing companies like Kia. 
With its straightforward design approach, a single EV in the lineup that performs well, and the new Forester that combines a boxer engine with Toyota's hybrid technology, we're confident that Subaru's streak of monthly year-over-year -year growth will continue. Reason number two, revised EPA regulations. If you recall the EPA's proposal from a year ago, emission requirements were set to ensure a significant shift towards electrification by the end of this decade. The initial plan was to make two-thirds of new cars all-electric by 2032. However, these projections were based on momentum rather than in-depth analysis. As market growth began to slow, it became clear that revisions were necessary. The revised strategy aims to make just one-third of new cars electrified by 2032, with notably looser fleet emissions regulations. This allows many car makers to continue doing what they do best, leading us to another major car company renowned for its excellence in internal combustion engine engineering. We're talking about Honda, the Japanese company that saw a 15% rise. While some of its most iconic models, like the midsize Accord Struggle, the rest of the lineup is performing incredibly well. The CRV saw a 28% increase last month, while the three-year-old Civic continues to grow, thanks to its impressive design. Last month, it saw a nearly 36% rise, while the new HRV saw a staggering 45% increase. And all these models have one thing in common. Honda has no plans to make them all electric. Honda has embarked on a few EV ventures, including joint ventures with General Motors. But given the current market trends and the massive losses GM and Ford incurred with their failed EV projects, we're confident that Honda will continue to excel in what it does best for a long time making some of the best internal combustion engines around, along with highly refined self-charging hybrid setups. Reason number one, balancing supply and demand. The automotive industry has faced significant turbulence in recent years, especially during the pandemic. Major supply chain issues disrupted the delivery of new cars. Simultaneously, the demand for electric cars was at its peak, leading to long waiting lists. However, the tables have turned. Car makers have finally resolved their supply chain issues and EV production has increased by 500% according to some sources. At the same time, the EV market has cooled down, leading to a significant imbalance between supply and demand, particularly for electric cars. The market day supply is well over 100. On the other hand, internal combustion cars are faring much better. And if there's a company that has optimized the entire process, it's Toyota. The Japanese company has always been renowned for its excellent logistics, even during the pandemic. But now things are even better. While EVs are accumulating on dealer lots, Toyota is selling its hybrids and gasoline-powered cars at a rapid pace, with a 26-day market supply last month and a 23-day market supply in May, which essentially means that almost all of its models are pre-sold. Even Toyota's luxury brand Lexus is doing well, with a 41-day market supply. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Highway Herald to stay updated on the latest vehicle updates and upcoming videos. See you next time.